Now, here are your latest headlines and updated Kansas City forecast from 41 Action News. I'm Dia Wall and these are your headlines for Friday, May 14th. Kansas City is one of several local governments that's rescinded its mask mandate. It follows the new guidance from the CDC saying those who are fully vaccinated don't need to wear a mask in most settings, with an exception of public transportation and medical offices. Other counties and cities also lifted their mask mandates following that guidance from the CDC. That includes Clay and Jackson counties and the city of Independence. Those governments still recommend masks for unvaccinated people, though. Johnson County ended its mask mandate before the new CDC guidance. The Kansas City Royals announced they're dropping their mask mandate, but they still recommend masks for guests who are not vaccinated. Missouri Governor Mike Parson dropped plans to expand the state's Medicaid program after state lawmakers refused to fund it. That means 275,000 Missourians who would have qualified for Medicaid won't have access to that health care. State lawmakers needed to allocate $60 million in general revenue money toward expansion. That would have triggered $1.4 billion from the federal government. Since Missourians voted to expand Medicaid last year, this decision to not fund it will likely lead to some lawsuits. Here's Gary Lezak on this Friday night. In the big town. Thank you, Dia. <laughs> Look at that. Here's the rainfall forecast. 90% chance tomorrow morning and 90% chance Sunday morning. In between, there will be hours where it doesn't rain Sunday afternoon, maybe some chances as well that go up a little bit. 54 degrees tomorrow morning. I'm expecting a band of rain between 4 a.m. and 8 a.m. And then maybe it's out of here by 10. We can get some of those graduations going without the rain, but uh, there's a chance. So we'll watch that closely. Seven day forecast in the 70s next week with more chances of showers and thunderstorms, but no severe weather. Remember to get your news and weather anytime at KSHB.com.